An unoperated SEPTA trolley ended up crashing into the side of an historic house in southwest Philadelphia last evening. Officials are now trying to figure out how the runaway trolley derailed, traveled half a mile, and then into that 250-year-old property. Action News reporter Becca Hendrickson is live at the intersection of Island and Woodland Avenues with the full story tonight. Becca. Rick, officials still have no idea how that SEPTA trolley started running in the first place. It was out of service with no conductor on board. And here is the result. You can see the hole in this more than 250 year old historic home. I just spoke with the caretaker of this property. She says she's lucky to be alive. Surveillance video shows the moment a rogue septa trolley crashed into a more than 250 year old home, damaging a piece of American history. For septa, these are very, very concerning, very serious incidents. It happened just before 11 Thursday night on Island and Woodland Avenues. Septa says this trolley should not have been running. It was out of service, no, no operator, you know, no, no driver on that vehicle. Uh, there was a mechanic on it performing work. SEPTA says it likely derailed right after leaving the station. As it picked up speed down Island Avenue, the trolley crashed into a car, injuring two people, and then into the Blue Bell Inn, where one resident lived. It looks to me like there is really no structural damage. John Hyges has worked since the 80s to preserve the home. It's a historic tavern built in 1766, a place George Washington and his soldiers would often go. It's kind of a connection with what we have in the past. Charles Lloyd, who was the innkeeper there, was also involved in anti-slavery activities. The house is currently owned by the city's Parks and Recreation Department. Advocates hope it's repaired quickly. As crews were back Friday working on the damage, SEPTA says it's investigating how this crash happened. This is the fifth SEPTA crash in less than a week. In all of those incidents, there have been 24 injuries and one death. Trying to reinforce that it is safe to travel on SEPTA, and I know that that's difficult for a lot of people to hear right now. A SEPTA's board also says it's deeply concerned by this series of incidents and it's in close contact with management. Meanwhile, management says it is considering some changes, including adding more safety officers at night. Live here in Southwest Philadelphia, Becca Hendrickson, Channel 6, Action News, Rick. All right, Becca, thank you.